Finally, let's learn how to roll out Azure AD application proxy and move it into production. There are four things that you'll want to consider as you go through this process. The first is to make sure that you have multiple connectors, and if you've created multiple groupings of connectors, one of the features that we provide, make sure that each group has multiple connectors as well. This will ensure that you have high availability and more resiliency in general. Second, you may want to apply a custom domain. When you're configuring the application and providing an external URL, we give you a default domain that has the form your tenant msapproxynet However, there are a lot of benefits to using a basically bring your own domain, so for example, adventureworks.com or contoso.com, and so you should consider and evaluate using a custom domain and setting your applications to use one of those. Third, make sure that you assign your full set of users. So in the previous stages, we recommend that you've just assigned a couple of test users. As you roll it out into prod, you'll need to go back and make sure that you've expanded the audience for each application. And finally, Application Proxy has a lot of different partnership stories that we've worked on to make your deployment even richer. To make sure you're getting the full benefit of all of Application Proxy, you may want to consider evaluating some of these. For example, we've done some work with the managed browser from Intune. We've also done a lot of work with the extension that's available from the access panel. And all of these provide much easier user experiences. We've also put together some guides and deployment assistance for publishing common applications such as Tableau and ClickSense, and have done some partnerships with Ping as well. So be sure to check those out. If you want to learn more or to see any of those resources, you can visit our documentation at aka.ms slash application proxy, or you can go to our blog at aka.ms slash app proxy blog. Our blog contains information about releases, previews, and a lot of different deep dives on topics that we tend to hear a lot of questions about. So hopefully, with all of that, you now have a thorough understanding of Application Proxy and all the tools you need to deploy it and test it and finally roll it out into production. Thank you.